spring. Here's the 1-2 again. And that one in there for a called third strike. Some nice movement on that sinking fastball as it was moving away from Blade. Dunning throwing it in a little bit. Fires. 0-2. Oh, that one's hit in the air to deep left center field. That is headed up the alley, and that is all the way to the wall. Blade around third. He's being waved in. There is no play at the plate. It's a double for Geloff as he continues his hot spring and gives the Athletics a 1-0 lead. Thing Oakland, bottom of the first. Zell off the runner at second. And there's a swing and a ground ball to third. When Zell is going to tag the runner, he does so. And uh, Geloff is retired as Brent Rooker reaches on the fielder's choice. Five bats with the runner at first. One out, and he blasts one way back to left field. This is crushed. That is a monster home run completely out of the stadium for Seth Brown. It's 3-0 Oakland. Brown, who hit 14 home runs for the A's last year and 25 the year before, absolutely annihilated that ball. And the A's have a 3-0 lead with one out here in the first inning. 1-1 one, one offering. Swing and a miss. Good slider. Rangers go to Oakland for the first time on May 6th and actually have a scheduled doubleheader there on Wednesday, May 8th. A daytime doubleheader, not a split. The pitch cut on and missed. A slider gets Langoliers, and that ends the inning, but not before the A's score three times on three hits. It might just bounce in here. The 1 2 breaking pitch, swing and a miss. And Dunning strikes out Ruiz, second strikeout here for Dane. I'm more concerned about the ones coming straight back. Yeah. And not ricocheting off anything. <laughs> Muncie spent his time last year, high A and double A for the A's. Another curveball and a swing and a miss. And Muncie is out on strike. So a 1 2 3 second for Dane, a rebound inning for him. We head to the third. A's still lead it 3 0 on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers radio network. Got in as a pinch runner in the sixth, scored a run, and then later provided an RBI hit. And here he strokes one out into left field. That'll get down for the knock. Ruiz toward the corner over to pick it up, and uh, Wenzel has his fourth hit of the spring, a solid single into left field, which was in contrast to that hit that he got in the sixth inning yesterday. Out guy. But with a, a little help from the plate umpire, he's definitely got the strikeout pitch working today. Here's a swing by Simeon and a bouncer just inside third. Coming up with it, Toro. His throw, a two-hopper across, and it's not in time. Simeon able to beat it. On uh, what was an awful throw there from Toro as we play here in the third. Two checks of the runner at second, and now Dunning home with the 0-1. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on that curveball. Here from 97 to 2013. There goes the runner. The pitch is swung on and missed. The throw to second right on the money. Kisner throws out Langoliers. Langoliers a catcher, of course. He doesn't run that well. And that is a strike him out, throw him out, double play as tools of any kind. What'd you use, 10 cans? In those days, you actually had to have lines. Three and two. <laughs> There's a ground ball to short. Throw to first base, bounces past Andujar. Muncie will be charged with an error, and Jankowski is on at first. Maybe they'll give him an infield hit. It was going to be close. But the throw bounced past the first baseman. 4 nothing. Oakland leading. Well, what happened was our, our end preferred the pronunciation Fabian instead of the Spanish pronunciation, Fabian. There's a swing and a base hit to right field. Rounding third, Jankowski coming in to score, and the Rangers are on the board. Fabian delivers, and it's 4-1, to one, Oakland. Hit that one. Leo, two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. He got him with that uh, slider, and so Muncy is out on strikes. That's the second out in the inning. And we go back. I, you know, I set my... Um, Odometer uh, uh, coming over here today just to see exactly how many miles it was from surprise. Here's a deep fly ball into center. Cameron getting turned around. This is over his head. It's off the batter's eye. And uh, cruising into second is Krim. So I guess uh, anything off the batter's eye is in play. It appears to be. So from um, from uh, uh, the abode in which I uh, reside uh, in surprise, which is not far from the ballpark, to uh, Ho Hokum as Travis rips one into center field and that gets down for the base hit. Cameron over to pick it up, rounding third is Krim. He scores easily. It's an RBI single for Travis Jankowski. 
And the Rangers now trail 5-2. Uh, how how'd you feel about the, out there? It felt like you settled in a bit after that first inning. Yeah, uh, I mean, today was a big step uh, for this spring. I actually felt really good throughout the whole the whole time. Uh, got unlucky in a couple situations, but um, hung a slider for a double, and then um, we wanted to go first pitch cutter up in to Brown, and looks like he was kind of sitting <laughs> on that same pitch. Ball went a long ways. Uh, but no, I, I mean, I felt like I commanded the zone well today, and um, was able to locate pitches with pretty much all my pitches. Uh, so I was, I mean, I was happy with how I pitched, but uh, just not extremely happy with some of the results. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, two two main mistakes. Um, it was just the, the hung slider for the double and then uh, the four-pitch walk to Rooker. Are you where you want to be physically, mentally right now at this stage of spring? Yeah, I mean... I would love to be more fine-tuned, but, I mean, that's what spring training is for. Uh, I mean, it's my third outing. Uh, but, I mean, all in all, I felt really good. I felt really good in my legs. Um, like I said, I commanded the ball well. Uh, it felt good to be able to command all my, for the most part, all my pitches in the strike zone and where I wanted. Um, threw some good fork balls a day, so that was fun. Um, had some good swing and misses on them. Um, but all in all, I mean, ignore the the score I, I felt you know good for where I'm at right now about how many of the fork balls do you think you threw I think I threw four or five of them um threw one to Giloff for the swing they all came in the third inning uh threw one to Giloff for a swing and a miss doubled up on it he took it and then I think we went front door sinker for the strikeout um threw one to uh Seth Brown one zero count I think I threw a couple more. Um, I just can't remember who it was, but no, I mean it felt they felt really good. Um, uh, I felt like my slider command was significantly better than my last two outings. Wasn't yanking off of them. Was actually staying through it. But like I said, I, I hung the one um, for the double, but um, still getting that all fine tuned. On the fork ball, you said you were just playing catch with it in the World Series, and kind of said. This feels good. Let's try this. Yeah, I mean, it was. It, I went into spring, uh, not spring. I went into the off season, kind of went and revalued myself, and uh, you know, the changeup was an effective pitch, but it wasn't as effective as it should be. Um, just throw it too hard, and every time I try to back off it or try to create something where it has a little bit less speed, it just wasn't didn't have the right shape, or I pushed it, or just wasn't locating it well. And and for the most part, it got whacked during the year. Um, but but no, I mean it, it just more or less came along that, and I kind of when the to the off season was like you know I'm gonna try throwing it, and if it's good, it's good. If it's not, then I'll just wipe it clean and you know stick to my normal stuff. And it, I threw it, and it had great shape, and so I was like, all right, I'm gonna take it into spring. How valuable is it for you? I mean, you've talked, you're not a guy who's gonna throw 97, 90. Yeah. And you can have a few different pitches, you know, the fastball, the forkball, cutter in the same sort of realm that all. Look different, hit different to yeah. kind of keep things. I mean, guessing. yeah, yeah. For me, you're exactly right, right there. It's you know, got to keep a hitter guessing, right? I can't, you know, I got to try to be a person that mixes. Um, you know, sinker's got a little bit more arm side run, cutters more glove side um, cut, and then be able to kind of work off that. Go to the four corners, you know, have the change up and the splitter, so the change up's going, kind of mimicking the sinker a bit. Um, you know, got that sink but arm side run, uh, so hopefully driving it down towards arm side, bottom of the zone, and then, you know, got the slider going glove side, bottom of the zone, trying to hit that corner, so I land it below the plate. Um, and you got the fork ball kind of moving down. You got the curve ball. You got, I mean, the four seam up. Um, but, I mean, it's all it's all just, uh, for me, it's just, I mean, I, I still stick to my strengths, but it's, you know, a little bit dictates just based off what the hitters do. And, um you know, I got to be able to create that separation just for my pitches. It makes my 90 look a little bit harder. <laughs>